Alright, so we're starting in RAM Structural System and now we're going to talk about change management. So how to manage the changes for your structural system model. We're going to leverage ISM to do this. So let's take a look at our model here. So it's a small four-story structure has a combination of both steel and concrete members. Let's go ahead and make one change together. We're going to go ahead and change the framing on the residential level. Oh, let's change over to steel. Let's put in some more members. We'll of course change the deck direction. All right, so our change has been made. Let's take a look at it in the 3D view. You can see the direction of the deck changing as well as the uh, framing members. I'm going to go through and analyze everything in RAM structural system and then we'll update our repository. Now that I've analyzed all the different modules. Let's go ahead and update the ISM. So now we're going to select the update from repository. We'll stick with our same repository. And again we'll make sure all of our changes are saved in the structural system model first. Now it's going to compare the repository as it is to the changes I made in structural system. We'll be able to review the differences between the two repositories and then decide what we'd like to keep and what we might want to save for later or just not update with. So you can see the framing here color coded showing me that those members are going to be deleted. We have filters along the top for all the changes so that you can review any additions, deletions, or modifications and some handy tools along the bottom for you to quickly accept or reject everything and even a nice little preview so you can see what the repository is going to look like. All right, so you see our new framing there. You see some modifications made to the supporting members and then we'll finally commit those changes and let's not forget to mark what we did here. So we've got a change in framing at the residential level. Alright, so now we'll go through and make some more changes in our model. I'll continue to commit those changes and we'll get back in one second. Alright, so I made two other changes. Let's go ahead and take a look at what those are. I added some bracing you can see here on the front frame and at the plaza level, that's our concrete level here, I added an opening. Alright, so let's take a look at how we manage these changes. Let's take a quick peek at the repository after I add this additional information. You can see here it didn't change very much in size, so again very small, very portable. This time we'll use the revision manager. So I'll grab that repository. And then here you'll see a list of all the changes that we've documented. And then we have a variety of different tools that we can use. So the first tool is to just view those changes. So let's just take a look at um, a specific change. I grab the braces there, which is the second change that I made. It'll open up our repository. And then this is just simply a query kind of mode. So we can do all the things that we looked at in one of our other videos about viewing the model. So we can rotate, toggle on and off the different levels or just get information about a particular piece. 
All right, but what I want to particularly show you is that while the framing is changed, because that's where it was in the history of how I did everything, the braces are there, but there's no opening at that level. So you're reviewing just the changes that you committed at that entry point. The next command is like looking at the difference between two sets of changes. So let's take a look at um, our original import and then the framing we added. So this time I selected the difference command and again with our filters across the top we can kind of look at the changes that happened in between the two. So we can see the new members, we can get information on those members, um, we can look at anything that might be deleted, or modified. If I take a look at the model though at this point, remember this is compared to the initial import, we can see color coded wise what's happening through some modifications and deleted members, but we don't quite see the new framing yet. So you're kind of comparing the two models, so this is the first revision or the initial import, and then when we choose display new model, it shows us what's changed in between here. So this pink one happens to be the member that I had selected on screen. It shows you that's the currently selected member. And then you have all the new framing. All right, so next, what, let's next look at the merge command. So that is what it sounds like. I can take two different revisions that I've made and decide, OK, I'm good with both of these. Let's put them together. And so now I can merge them into one. Added framing. At residential. And braces. All right, so that simplifies the list for me. The next command we have in the list is the recover command. So what this allows us to do is decide uh, which revision we want to go back to, for instance. So instead of undoing everything from our history, what we would be doing is saying, all right, um, you know what, let's go back to the drawing board and let's grab the initial import. You can see you can enter any kind of text in here. Just be descriptive enough so that you really remember what those revisions are. So let's take a look at that one now. So that means the state of the model is back to the beginning. There's no openings, no brace, and no revised framing. Next command is very helpful. It's the update with. So we've gone back to the drawing board here, but maybe we want to add something. Maybe we want to add back those braces. So we wanted to undo the opening and undo perhaps the revised framing. So now let's do an update with. Again, that's going to compare wherever your current model is with the revisions that you selected, again you're going to get the list here. You can decide what you want to take from the list. So in all of the past uh, screens I've just been selecting everything and grabbing everything at one time. This time maybe I'll be a little bit more selective. So I didn't want to change the framing, I just want to grab those braces. So I'll start by selecting everything and actually rejecting all the changes. Now I'm going to be pick the specific things that I want. So I want to grab just the vertical braces. So these four elements, I'll accept those. And then I'm going to preview it just to make sure I agree with the changes here. All right, so no change in framing. And now we have our braces. All right, so let's go ahead and update the repository. Alright, you see this as 
the last entry. The last tool would allow you to select any revision point and it's an undo command. So in other words select maybe added framing and when I select undo in this case 1.8, 1.7 and 1.6 will disappear and the current state of the model will be at the framing. That's how the undo function works. All right, so where we stand with our model is we kind of took everything out and just left the braces. That's our current revision. We're going to go ahead and be done with the repository now and bring this full circle because as we're editing and querying, querying in the repository, now we can quickly update our structural system model and not have to make all of those adjustments by hand. So let's update from the repository now. And so one last time it's going to compare where the model stands against the repository. And grab any changes. One more time you get to come through and say, okay, what's different? And take a look. Take a look at the differences. Take a look at them in a color-coded fashion. I went and selected everything. Okay, you can see the difference between the deleted members. You can see the bracing being added. And so now you can decide how to deal with the changes. And again, you can choose to be selective or you can simply modify everything. All right, so I'm deciding here that I'm just going to grab the framing framing changes. So I've rejected everything, and now what I'll come in and do is grab just these members. So in other words, those are the uh, old beams, the original beams. We'll accept those. What's being deleted here? are the modified beams that we had put in or the, the revised framing, right? That's in the RSS model right now. So we'll go ahead and accept those. Quick check here. And then lastly, everything else that's modified we're going to go ahead and reject. So let's preview this real quick. All right, that's what our framing is going to look like. So now let's go ahead and update the RAM structural system model. All right, let's take a look at it in the 3D viewer. So as we look at our model here, you can see the bracings are bracing is added, the framing's back to the original framing, and no opening exists on our plaza level. I hope this video helps you mac maximize your use of change management using a structural application with ISM.